सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग एन इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज हेस्कैम कोड और ई ए सी कोड सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वॉट हेस्कैम कोड इज वेर डू वी सी इट एंड वाई इट इज सो इम्पोर्टेंट सो फर्स्टली टॉकिंग अबाउट हेस्कैम कोड सो हेस्कैम कोड इज हेजरियस केमिकल कोड और वी कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट एज ई ए सी दैट इज इमरजेंसी एक्शन कोड सो हेस्कैम कोड इज अ इमरजेंसी कोड विच इज कन्फर्म्ड बाय द हेल्थ एंड सेफ्टी एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफ यू के हेस्कैम इज यूज एज अ वॉर्निंग प्लेट दैट प्रोवाइड्स इंपॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द केमिकल स्टोर्ड इन द कंटेनर सो नाउ वेर डू वी सी हेस्कैम कोड वी नॉर्मली सी द हेस्कैम कोड और द ई ए सी कोड ऑन द टैंकर्स विच कैरी हेजारियस केमिकल ऑन द रोड्स वी ऑलवेज नोटिस दिस हेस्कैम कोड इन आर डेली लाइफ and there are lot of tankers moving on the roads but we never pay attention to it as we see a lot of tankers moving on the road with hescam code but we never pay attention to the details of the letters shown on the labels but after watching this whole video you will definitely pay attention to it and perfectly know what this codes describes so now let us see Why this Hescam code is of great importance? The main objective of Hescam code is to give proper information about the chemical that is being spilled or caught to fire, so that the emergency services team can use the proper measures to reduce the effect of these dangerous chemicals. Even if such a type of incident happens in your presence, you can easily take corrective action to reduce the danger. we usually in our daily lives come across a lot of tankers moving on the roads with this kind of label or this kind of panel that is emergency information panel the hescam code is a part of emergency information panel we usually see this emergency information panel on the tankers and the panel comprises of various parts or various sections like chemical name UN number class diamond hescam code emergency contact number specialist advice discussing about this whole emergency information panel will make this video so long so in this video we will be precisely talking about the hescam code i will definitely make a video on this emergency information panel where we will discuss it in detail so moving ahead let us discuss about parts of hescam code here we will be focusing on how to read the hescam code the hescam code for a chemical consists of three parts first is a number from 1 to 4 second is a capital letter p to t or w to z and third is a optional letter e here in this picture on the left hand side we can see a hescam code that is 3y where it consists of a number 3 which is between 1 to 4 and it comprises of letter y which is a capital letter from w to z as e is a optional letter here we don't have a e which is not a area of concern so now we will discuss about the significance of numbers from 1 to 4 The first letter of Hescam code is a number from one to four, which normally tells us about the type of extinguisher to be used at the time of emergency. So, if the number has one in it, means we will use a water jet extinguisher. Then the first letter of the Hescam code has a number two in it. Then we will use a water fog type of extinguisher. then if it has a number 3 in it then we will use a foam type of extinguisher if it has a number 4 in it then we will use a dry agent which is commonly known as dry chemical powder so the first letter of a hescam code is specifically a number which is from 1 to 4 and which will describe the type of extinguisher to be used 
when an accident happens now we will be discussing about the significance of letters the second part of hcm code is a letter which is from p to t or from w to z except q if a material is been coded from p to t are those type of materials which may in an emergency be diluted and flushed down to the nearest drain if the material is coded from w to z may not be diluted and not be contained here in this picture on the left side we have a hcm code that is 3ye here 3 shows that type of extinguisher to be used is a foam type and y shows that the material cannot be diluted and cannot be contained and e shows that all the persons other than the fire brigade should fight the scene at a minimum distance of 200 meter whether it is a spillage or a fire so now moving ahead if a material is having hcm code with p and r and w and x in it then the vapors or the product of the material are combustible and injurious to our human skin and for which a full impervious protective clothing as well as scba must be provided the full protective clothing should generally be of nitrile rubber and scba means it is a self contained breathing apparatus should be used if the code is having p and r and w and x in it if the chemical materials has chem code has s and t and w and z are those in which we can use breathing apparatus only if necessary breathing apparatus is frequently necessary for work in smoke and oxygen deficient atmosphere even when the chemical itself present has no hazard then if the chemical material has a hcm code with p s w and y are capable of reacting violently either alone or with some other substances that is example that is example with water with air with metal or with combustible materials with which they may come in contact the final and the optional letter e calls for evacuation of all the persons other than fire brigade to a minimum distance of 200 meter from the incident spot whether fire or spillage is happening this is used for material which may be particularly hazardous means the material is explosive super toxic biologically active or radioactive here in this figure of emergency information panel we have a hcm code that is 3ye in which 3 denotes a foam type of extinguisher to be used at the time of emergency y denotes that the material cannot be diluted and must be contained other than that breathing apparatus must be provided and used if needed and it also denotes that it is capable of reacting violently either alone or with other substances when it may come in contact and the last letter e denotes that for evacuation of all the persons other than fire brigade should be at a minimum distance of 200 meter from the incident spot so guys that's all for this video hope you like this video thank you for watching